Maple Street, USA. A suburban community on a pleasant Saturday afternoon. But in a few moments, everything will change for the residents of Maple Street, as they discover that the monsters they fear may already be among them. Okay, so holiday decorations. Up after Thanksgiving and down on the 6th of January. Great. Is there any other business? I'm, I'm a little confused about the decorations. People are just going to put up anything they want. No, 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 no. Look, everybody gets to decorate. It's just that you get to decide whether you want snowmen or, say, wise men. Oh, but it's so nice when all the houses look the same. If everybody used white lights and maybe a wreath on their door with some nice red ribbon. Yeah, you know, what shade of red? Tomato or fire engine? I'm glad to see you're enjoying yourself, Will, but the rest of us actually care about how the neighborhood looks. Yeah, well, let's not drag this out. Some of us would also like to go home and watch the football game. I'm sorry. It's just that when Brent and I lived on the base, everything was so uniform. I'm sure the base was nicely decorated. You're not living on the base now, Phyllis. Anyway, we're a little short on numbers. Can we really make a decision without a quorum? My opinion, they don't care enough to show up. They get no say in the matter. It's not that they don't care. It's the soccer finals this afternoon. Over half the families in the neighborhood have kids that are playing today. I know it's a radical idea, but we could reschedule the meeting. Look, my kids are in the soccer final, too, and I'm here. These meetings are on the third Saturday of each month, and that's been... Set in stone? Agreed upon. Now, Holly will type a notice about the decorations, and we will notify everybody. Any other business? Yeah, the, the new family at the end of the street, that fence they built. The chain link fence. Well, it's unsightly and unfriendly. Yeah, well, that family's a weird bunch. Did you guys notice they were the only ones on the block that did not fly a flag on Veterans Day? They just moved in, Dylan. Maybe they hadn't unpacked their flag yet. Come on, Will. There were plenty of flags on sale down at Home Depot. They could have picked one up. And you notice they're not here. Maybe they're at the soccer game. No, their kids aren't on the team. I got the list when I tried to make this lug join the league. No new names. So, they aren't at the game, and they couldn't be bothered to show up here either. Did anybody invite them? Not me, no. Has anybody even talked to them? I wanted to include a welcome to the neighborhood in the newsletter, but nobody came up with their name. I'm sure that if we make them feel welcome, they'll be more than happy to participate. OK. Well, I will send them a note. Now, if there's no other business... Hey! My game died! Ah! What was that? Traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. Was that an earthquake? No, sonic boom. Sonic boom might shatter a few windows, but it wouldn't knock out power. Whatever it was knocked out power to all the houses on the street. Now, did the power go out before the boom? What difference does that make? Well, sound has to travel. Whatever it was could have happened miles from here. Maybe a transformer blew. We had a generator on the base for emergencies like this. What about the thing with the cell phones before the power died? That was weird. Yeah, mine's still not working. Anybody else's? No, nothing. Not even any little dots. This is just like ID4. Independence Day, the movie with Will Smith. Aliens invade the world and blow everything up. Can it, Jason? Brent called me this week to warn me. He said we went on orange alert two days ago. What the hell does that mean? Brent, he's overseas. He says there's been chatter on the terrorist networks. He says we have to be watchful. All right. There's a difference between watchful and paranoid. 
And people are getting reported to the government for buying pita bread. Maybe they should be reported. I mean, if somebody had been paying attention when Timothy McVeigh bought all that fertilizer... Explain to me how buying pita bread is going to help you make an explosive device. It's not how they use it. It's that they use it. My opinion, you know, shows, you know, they're not from here. Why would a terrorist want to attack our neighborhood? There's the reservoir. That's right. You see, it's not just for sailing your fancy boat on. That's the water supply for the whole county. Oh, until I know what's going on, I'm gonna get my kids from the soccer field. I'll go with... My kids are there, too. Well, I'm gonna stay here. Be watchful. walk over to the soccer field. Who's coming with me? Tyrone, it's 15 miles. And there's no reason to believe the cars aren't working over there. Uh, maybe everybody's on their way back here right now. That's easy for you to say, Holly. You don't have any kids. Brent told me about electromagnetic pulses. They cover huge areas. Stop computers from working. Stop power from working. All our cars have computer chips in them. That would explain why my son's game thing stopped working, the cell phones. What causes that? Solar flare? Terrorists. They'll knock everything out, then invade. That's it. I'm getting my gun. Oh, let's not panic. Whoa, whoa, no. Come on, come on. Now, our cars aren't working, our phones aren't working, and there's nothing on the radio but dead air. What about the explosion? Did we imagine that? Let's, okay, let's just not go pulling out our guns, okay? There's no invasion. There's just us. We're all friends. Yeah. We are friends. But what about... What about them? What about the newbies? They haven't come out family that ever put up a fence on Maple Street. So what? So it's weird. Your power's dead, your phone's dead. Your neighbors are standing in the street. You don't go outside to find out what's happening? Unless maybe you already know. That is quite a leap to make, Dylan. I'm sure they're just scared. Scared people band together. Maybe someone should go and see if they're okay. I'll go. Find out what they know. I'll go with them. So first they move in the middle of the night. So? So they want to keep us from seeing what they're doing. Who moves in the dark? Maybe they moved from far away. Oh, yeah, like, uh... Like Iowa. I'm gonna do the talking. Hey, Marshall, we are not at work. So do not talk to me like I work on the line. Sorry, Dylan. Come on, these people are ready to panic. You and me are the only ones with a, with a head for emergencies here. We don't want these people flying off the handle, mm -hmm. I'm Will Marshall, your neighbor. I'm just checking to see everything's okay. Come on, open the damn door. What the hell are you doing in there? Would that make you open the door? Let's go. so quiet. It's creepy. On Saturdays, people have their music cranked up, football games blaring, or something. It is weird how they hold up in there. I just want to be left alone, sweetie. It's still a free country. I know that. Stop acting so smug like you're the only one that knows what's going on. No wonder we don't fit in here. You act so above everyone. You want to fit in with People like Phyllis, he's afraid to do anything unless it's approved by a military committee or, or 
Dylan? He's afraid his sperm count will drop if he actually used his brain for five minutes? They're our neighbors. You wanted to move here, honey. I didn't. I thought it was a good place to settle in, to start a family. her life and nobody takes it in stride anymore maybe the way the world is right now we can't help but react that way i don't want to be like that. okay let's not be i thought we were going to be doing something useful Setting up a perimeter, finding weapons, getting ready to defend ourselves, protect our families. We don't know yet if we are under attack. If we haven't been attacked, then where is everybody? And why are they just leaving us here to fend for ourselves? The government will do something. Well, My husband, you know he's a captain. He'll send someone and they'll rescue us. Shut up, Phyllis. They got their hands full of ground zero. The rest of us are left on our own. Nobody's coming! I thought you were gonna help. Stop patronizing oh, you me! Idiot. You are scaring everyone. <laughs> You call me. You don't want me to think you're a jerk, then stop acting like one. got power and a car but he came back for his family because he knew it was gonna happen look they'd have to be pretty stupid terrorists to let us know they're the only ones with electricity their house could be a beacon to show the terrorists where to bomb if they're after the reservoir well then they'd die with us but that's what terrorists do Glenn says we don't understand their methods we wouldn't sacrifice ourselves but obviously they would look these people are perfectly happy to blow themselves up in a bunch of kids they could be up to anything Hey, Simon and Jeff, where are they? Do you think... That guy had to drive right by them more. That's it. Come on up there. Put the gun away. I'll go talk to them. They didn't let you in the last time you tried. Well, I won't leave until they talk to me this time. Look, I don't think they're terrorists, but I'm sure we'd all feel a lot better with some answers. All right? Will. It's all right. I'll be right back. friendly to me. Look, everything's fine. He's not a terrorist. 
He works on the night shift for an electronics firm. The family has a plan that if there's trouble, if there's a problem, he's not home, they don't open the door. What, what, what about the car? What about the well, electricity? Well, they don't know about it. They don't, they don't know why that is. But look, just because they have a car that works and electricity doesn't make him a terrorist. Look, they offered to come outside. I told them not to. Not in this environment. You what? <laughs> You told them not to? What are you, their spokesman? I told them there's a guy out here with a gun who was scared. Well, Dad, please. You know what, Marshal? You are real quick to defend those people. Are you one of us or one of them? You know, Will, he's not a terrorist. It's them that you want. Holly. We will not take the fall for them. You think I'm a terrorist? Ah, huh, do you? You think I'm a terrorist? Who's the one with the gun? Who's the one that's been inciting people from the beginning? Who's the one with an intricate knowledge of every terrorist bombing? Huh? Who's the one that brought up the idea of bombing the reservoir? And what about you fellas? How come we haven't met you, Captain Brand? Where did you say you were stationed? This is exactly what the terrorists want, for us to mistrust each other. We were in this together, and now we're ready to rip each other's heads off. They haven't set a foot in the neighborhood, and they've won. Dylan, if you want to shoot, go ahead. When this is over, you're going to be accountable. Hey, Dad. What? Come here, look. camera on my house the guy over there works at an electronics firm he works at night he's out here on the street while we're all asleep he's the only one that would have done this yeah there might be more holly if it's us or them let it be them you said we wouldn't be like this holly things are different now hey i just found this device wedged under the shutters want to bet they've bugged the phones too they're coming out of there marshal one way or another There has to be another explanation. Then why don't you tell us what that is? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Don't do this. Steve. Dave, come, come on. Maury, please. They coming out. That's right. Didn't you say they wanted to come out, Will? Would you now? If I were they? innocent, I would. Maybe we should break in. No good, they're probably on. I'll get him out. Let's go, son. Perceived terrorist attack, isolated communities will sustain themselves for five hours. 
Do you think they meant for you to power on at that one house? Beats me. I'll tell you one thing, if the other civilian security tests one like this, we're all in trouble. It isn't enough for a sole voice of reason to exist. In this time of uncertainty, we're so sure that villains lurk around every corner that we will create them ourselves if we can't find them. For while fear may keep us vigilant, it's also fear that tears us apart. A fear that sadly exists only too often outside the Twilight Zone.